Hello, Sphilopians, and welcome to another Hunger Games video. Um, as you can probably tell, the uh, the thing's a little bit different. Um, we uh, I've sped it up this time, so uh, it will be a bit faster than normal. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, as always, welcome to Hunger Games. This is your host, the friendly neighborhood Spiel, otherwise known as the Epic Spiel HD. Um, so yeah, uh, we actually get a sword. And, ah, this is so different. I'm sorry. I feel really weird commentating, um, because normally it's a live commentary. I've never done a sped up thing before. <laughs> it's just so different. I feel like I'm just like narrating what what's happening, which I guess is what we're supposed to do. Um, so these two people here, my uh, first victims here. By the way, I'm playing as boxer, so uh, all damage that I receive is uh, pretty much less. Um, but there, one of them was boxer and the other was monk. So uh, they, one of them. Oh my god, it's thundering really bad at my house. <laughs> I thought it was done. That's why I started doing this. Um, but anyway, they monked me and then, or well, they ergled themselves and then they monked me. Um, but I was fast enough to get my sword back on my, uh, one slot so I could kill them. Um, my next target here is underground. Poor guy. He was, a uh, he was just, you know, minding his own business, trying to make some cobblestone stuff. I was taking damage from my face onto this dirt, so I don't really know what was going on right there. He had a stone axe for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> there are some people that are just really bad. Um, if you're the kind of guy that makes a stone axe in the Hunger Games, <laughs> get out anyway <laughs> I'm just kidding um so yeah this is kind of a different way of uh narrating for me I, I don't know if you guys would like it or not I'm probably gonna g just go back to uh you know doing my whole uh regular recording style the only reason I'm doing it like this today is because my uh my computer forgot to pick up my audio so it was it was pretty bad but anyway we're pointing at this guy person who uh uh, we were just like hunting <laughs> and then I was like I don't really want to do this and my chunk loading is really weird because uh, fraps and fraps sometimes messes up chunk loading and that almost messes me up here and this was kind of a good fight for for a second but um, he uh, he couldn't w go back to his one slot so uh, to get his sword and he tried resouping so he turns on his hacks <laughs> um, which I don't really understand because the guy had a green name and that means that he pays $5 a month to have that green name and a reserve slot in every server, so why would you waste that hacking? <laughs> I really don't understand. Um, but anyway, yeah, he dies, gets what all hackers deserve, just die. Um, he was kind of decent, because he did have soup and stuff, but uh, at the same time he was hacking, so obviously he was bad. <laughs> um, I don't think he had to do that. Um, someone in the chat right here is saying they're going to kill themselves, so yeah. I was like, please, do it, do it, um, and he killed himself, and I was extremely excited, um, but anyway, here's my next hacker kill, um, this guy is guy person one uh, yeah, he is, uh, f you know he's a hacker because he has a little x-ray tunnel, <laughs> um, x-ray tunnels are obvious because, um, it's just like a tunnel that j just digs off a random bunch of branches, I don't know if it was a bunch of random branches in this tunnel, but I did see that it was just like a random tunnel and he had full iron, which obviously has to mean something if you ask me. Um, so yeah, I get on out of here and so uh, yeah, I got an iron pickaxe now. I was really excited about that. Um, I also got full iron, but it didn't really feel like I deserved it because I just killed a hacker for it, which you, you got to hate hackers, but you got to love x rays at the same time if you're a hunter like me in this uh, because because the x-rayers always have your full iron and they're always bad that guy wasn't necessarily very bad because he did have iron or he did have soup and he just really overestimated his ability to beat me and also his iron sword did as much damage as a stone sword because i was boxer and here i believe we have another another x-rayer so this this game is just hackers rampant um but he dies really easy because he was bad and he didn't have a uh, 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 what's it called what's it called uh, soups and he had a flamey paged book and it was really flamey and it was hot so I threw it out <laughs> um so yeah so I go up here and uh the feast is announced and I'm like where's the feast at I wonder where the feast is at and I check my coordinates and it's right above me so here I'm just going to be sitting on top of the feast and um punching my compass around 
a uh, a good plan for whenever you're at the feast, like you're the first person at the feast, or you and your teammate are the first pe- person at the feast, or whatever. Um, and it's like the feast has like just started, or it doesn't look like a lot of people are coming at it at the moment. A good plan is uh, to punch the ground a lot or whatever with your compass to see who is uh, closest to you. Normally, you don't want your compass on your fe- on your bar at the feast because you do need that extra slot for a uh, mushroom stew. But at the same time, if you know who's coming from who's coming to the feast and from where, um, that gives that gives you more of the element of surprise than they have when you think about it. Um, so yeah, I'm pointing at Ares players and 7JT7. They're pretty much equidistant from me. And 7JT7 is right here. Uh, thing starts in one minute. And then all of a sudden, Ar- I see him backing up, so I turn around. I'm like, what's going on? And Ares players is right here. He only dealed one heart of damage to me without me using any soup before he decided to flash away because he's too bad. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really bad at Hunger Games, honestly. Um... I'm not trying to sound like, oh, I'm better than everyone, because I die in 99.9% of the games I play before I'm at, like, the top 20. <laughs> because I'm really not good at PvP. <laughs> um, so anyway, I didn't speed this part up because it's uh, it's the feast, and you don't really want to speed that up. Um, so yeah, it's about to start in 30 seconds here, and Ares player is up there. I don't know where 7JT7 went, but I'm not really worried about him because he doesn't have any armor. And, uh, yeah, so... uh. We got 15, 10 seconds, and I'm like, okay, it's just Ares player. I'm just, I'm not gonna go into the, um, into the chest yet. I'm just gonna wait for him to come down to me so I can fight him and I can kill him. But all of a sudden, two more people come up. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to start fighting these people. And one of them's a Viper, and the other one's an Array. So I'm just like, okay, it's pretty much doing nothing because, um, there's the poison and then there's the Array. But he knocks me away from the Array. Um,. And as you see there, uh, Ares players actually kills um, his teammate. And this guy's actually pretty good, but he is using Viper, so um, so yeah. And he has to resoup here, so I'm not sure um, if he actually had to resoup or not. But anyway, he's sitting out here resouping, and I'm like, perfect opportunity to knock him off this um, heightened feast. Um, and I noticed he queued his sword, and he did have to uh, pull out a stone sword there. Um, but I am poisoned here, and it's me and Ares players at the feast. And he's over there getting his diamond armor on and stuff up. I probably should have made more soup here, but I decided to just rush into battle because I don't know when uh, this Viper is going to be coming back up. And I kind of get smacked around by him a little bit. Decided to pick up that guy's stu- stuff for no reason. And, uh, yeah, he tries to lava me, and I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm unlovable. And, uh, yeah, he, he lavas me. <laughs> so uh, I keep going, and uh, I almost died there. Um, So we're fighting, we're fighting, and he's like, oh god, this guy's too good, I'm just gonna stand in one spot and die. <laughs> um, so he's dead. Uh, having too much fun narrating this right now. This was a really fun game for me, I'm not sure why, but I'm just really goofy and bubbly right now. Um, so I only managed to get diamond boots before uh, this viper tries to splash me with a poison 2 potion, but it misses and he ends up splashing himself. Uh, so he's poison two and I'm poison one from his viper. Um, and he's just standing there dying and I kill him. So yeah, uh, that's going to be pretty much everyone at the feast. So I don't really have anything to worry about now. Um, everyone there had soup and they were all actually pretty good. I probably would have died if Ares player wasn't there um, to kill that uh, viper's teammate. And yeah, so here we have it. Uh, we're gonna We're just going to speed it back up and... Uh, it's really not much at, left at the feast. All I get is some steak and some TNT. Um, there was a poison potion there and some ender pearls and all that stuff. But for some reason, I was really confident that nobody was in pillars anymore because there was only like three people left at this point. So yeah, just blow it up. And um, the shocking thing was, Ares player had actually gotten all of the diamond armor out of the feast before I killed him. So if he was better at PvP, he he would have pretty much had that because he had all the diamond armor in the chest. If someone had come up and tried to get into the chest, um, he had all the diamond armor, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, but I picked all that stuff up from him. So yeah, now I'm following my compass, and 7JT7 is right here. And when I saw 7JT7 the first time, I noticed that he had a stone axe in his hand, which was pretty much the uh, the strategy that me, Peter, and John came up with a while ago, that's uh, me, Padeli, and uh, PS Pro 7, or 6 Pro, or Poo Gobs, whatever you guys may know him, those guys by, um, 
we pretty much came up with that uh, thought back when we were really bad at the game. And here's this other guy, by the way. Um, make a stone axe and just go to the feast and break all the chests and get all this stuff before anybody can do anything. Surprisingly, it's not as fast as you think it is, so don't really try it because it's bad. So anyway, I'm just like shifting in front of this guy. I'm like, Mwah, giving him kisses and stuff and uh, sweet talking to him. And so he decides to start giving me his stuff. So I'm like, uh, you know what? I, th I think die, die. Um, so yeah, I killed him. Um, that might've been really, really loud. Wow. <laughs> uh, so there's only two more people left and, uh, you I just spat all over my keyboard. Ew. <laughs> you didn't need to know that. Uh, so I'm going to keep going. And this next guy is like deck of gold and he's like, uh, like 10 gold. I'm so dumb. Anyway, my puns are really bad today. So, I really want to get a TNT kill, so I'm just going to start, like, blowing up TNT down here on his furnace. Because I did see him, and he, like, ran away. Um, and so I blow up his stuff, and he's like, oh crap, oh crap, what's going on, what's going on? And then you see him just zoom, a pa zoom across the screen right here. <laughs> he's like, run, 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 run. Uh, and I was laughing so hard at this point in the video, but you can't tell because my audio messed up, and, yeah, sadly. Um... So yeah, I'm just going to keep trying because I really, really, really want this TNT kill. And sadly, you can't ignite TNT when it's not on top of a block. Um, so you have to wait for the fire to actually uh, get it. So he's running all over the ravine, and I'm just like, come on, man, let me let me kill you with this TNT, though. Um, and yeah. yeah, I don't know why he was breaking blocks there, but I'm, I'm going to just keep trying to blow up my TNT on his face. <laughs> There's just so many TNT explosions here. And I'm just like, for the sake of the viewers, stay still and let me kill you with the TNT. Um, so I decided to just jump down here and hit him around a little bit, and then try to TNT him. Um, but he actually like pushes me back, so I try to TNT, but he's too smart for that, and he's gonna run back. Um, so I'm just gonna like get more soup on my bar right here. And then he is kind of pushed into a corner here with his furnace and stuff. If I placed a TNT like above the TNT that I first placed, um. <sighs> That's the sad part. Um, I would have I would have uh, kept him in, but I saw that he was gonna jump out, so I placed a bunch of TNT on the way out, and he decided to attack me, and I hit him with my sword, and he popped open like a balloon. So I didn't get that TNT kill, but there is one guy left, so I'm really determined to get this TNT kill with my last two TNT. Come up to him, and I place it in front of him, and then I ignite him on fire. So I'm like, dang it, I really wanted to light the TNT on fire. Um. Started running for the water, but then he was like, oh wait, he plays TNT. He has a sharpness one sword, but he didn't go to the feast, so I'm assuming mini feast. Um, and yeah, that was my last TNT, so I'm like, oh, I guess I just have to sword him to death, sadly. Um, so he's going to run, and he's going to be like pure Matt, and he's going to be like, I'm going to eat in the middle of a fight. Um, <laughs> but that doesn't work for him, and he dies. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the game. Uh, comment below telling me how, you guys, how much you guys like uh, this compared to my normal thing. But mostly I'm going to be doing my normal thing. So thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.